team behind press conference with us coach Tulio Souza and player Guela Swat. Uh, welcome coach. Thank you. Um, I'm sure you have uh, had trainings and preparations for the match against uh, Malaysia tomorrow. Any other thoughts on the game? Oh, are going well, uh, as we predict and we prepare. Uh, it'll be a tough game, uh, like the last one, with a strong team that is playing home and are taking advantage of that uh, fantastic atmosphere that uh, the fans of Malaysia are, are putting on in each game. And we hope to, to find the similar conditions in the next game that is uh, kind of the conditions that all the players uh, love to play it. And uh, for sure, it will be a fantastic environment uh, to play uh, such a good game uh, with a strong team in this next um, round. And uh, we are prepared for that. We have one more training today to keep preparing for it. And we'll be prepared for uh, that tight and strong match. Thank you, Coach. Questions for Coach uh, Pulu. Hello, Swala. Hello, Coach. No, fortunately, with the work that we are doing and the way that we are preparing the players for now, no, no problem with that. Last one. All the, since we arrive here, all the players that all the games that we play is play, we play for win, and we'll be one more match in that situation. But uh, in a specific competition and uh, a short one uh, that is qualifiers, with official games that uh, always is a little bit different than uh, making a tournaments so or friendly games. And uh, it's for winning, for sure. We winning, we we keep depending just what we can do it about us, and uh, not thinking too much about what can happen in the other games. And it's the only thing that we can control at this moment is playing, do all that we can against a strong team to to win that game, to put us in the best conditions for the last game. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think this is one of the cases that uh, the ranking of the team that we're going to face tomorrow don't uh, correspond to the quality of the players and the quality of the Malaysia team as, as a team. You know, one thinks that this moment don't uh, match with uh, the other one. The team of Malaysia now is, at this moment is much more strong and they have uh, good quality players that uh, are above of the ranking that they have now. And we are aware of that, and uh, we prepare the best we can to, to have the best conditions that we can to be near of winning of the next game, with what we can control. Yes. Hi, Bob. Um, I'm pretty sure that you watched the game uh, between Malaysia and Turkmenistan the other day. Yes. Okay, so, um, did you think that Malaysia's performance was impressive? And at the same time, what did you observe about the Malaysia team during that match? Thank you. The Malaysia team was stronger on, than Turkmenistan on that match, and uh, we, uh, that appears in the final score of the game. And uh, they are taking advantage of going home too, because the, the environment that uh, are created are fantastic. The fans of Malaysia are making a fantastic job to be one more player for Malaysia. And that helps too and can boost the team of Malaysia to, to be a, even a little bit more stronger than they are normally. And we see a, a team with that have a strong points as uh, the other teams that we observe uh, that have uh, situations that we can explore and uh, is passing for a, a good moment. And we must have that all in, in attention to, to take the best off we can and, uh, and come above in the final result to, in the last, next game. Coach, um, you talked a bit more about the first game Malaysia played. Uh, whether you observe 
the opening 20 minutes we should play with very high intensity and then the remaining 70 there is a big drop in, in intensity. Two things uh, we worried about the fast start that Malaysia could have in the game and second is uh, the second part of it where they drop off do you feel that there is something your team can capitalize on? The thing that I'm most worried is about what we can do, about my team and what we can do. When we observe and see the other teams, is to mostly to be aware and have more knowledge about them. But is our is, isn't it ever our main um, main concern? Is not uh, the team that you're gonna face. It's about to have a better knowledge, pass some of that knowledge to the players, to for them to be better identified what we're going to face it and uh, maybe can be what we described, maybe can be just Malaysia uh, managing the game as the result came and managing the game during the, during the, the 90 minutes of the game. They, they enter strong and one of the things that I talked before and I think is imp very important too is uh, play home and do with these fantastic fans that help us to, and almost is a obligation to be strong and fast and uh, being positive, uh, and the, the fans help on that. And after maybe it can be uh, just managing the game during the 90 minutes as a result come a favor, a favor to them. Talking about managing the game, um, maybe that is something that your team also put up in the first game against Bangladesh because it would seem like your team did not get out of second year or even reach third year. Um, no, we always try to get the maximum of the game. Is I, I think is the best way to be prepared for the next one. And uh, we want it as we score the first. We want to score the second. We want to score the third. And the third don't appear, but we were there looking for. And the third come, we will look for the fourth. And uh, in the end of the three games, that can make some difference. And we weren't efficient enough uh, to do that. If we were, now we were in first of the, the group, not in second with uh, the goals that we scored. But uh, it's one of the things that we must improve, the situation that we get, that we conquer, and the clear situation that we get, to be more efficient, more competent on that moment, to put in the final score the difference that exists during that game. Uh, last one, do you, do you think that playing at night tomorrow the much cooler weather without the outside will have an impact to your the team's performance and output. Yeah, but uh, tonight uh, more night can be more humidity and can bring another problem that uh, you are being prepared for all and uh, that things uh, that situations particularly have effect in every teams ours and the other three teams. What we can do is prepare the best we can to absorb that and not be a, uh, upset, uh, not be an excuse for us to try to perform the, the highest level as we can. We must uh, try to achieve the best perform that, uh, performance that we can every time, even if that condition is in uh, our way of playing. But we must come upon on that. That can't be an excuse for us if you are not able to deliver in the end of the day. Any other questions for the coach? Yes, um, for the coach. Uh, you guys are the highest ranked team in this group. Does that put some kind of pressure on you guys? No, as I said before, uh, that I think at the moment correspond uh, what we are able to do. And I think uh, we can be maybe a little bit uh, up in our ranking. We try during um, all this year and uh, the stress of COVID and uh, all these problems that exist and uh, after staying without the competi official competition of the World Cup qualifiers, we try to find mostly of the time that we can, the teams that are higher than us in ranking. Theoretically, they are stronger teams at the moment and can give us different and uh, different kind of experience and high level experience to us to keep it building up because we believe that we will even sometimes that we can lose or are more probably to lose 
we can learn and uh, be more prepared and more near of the strongest one if we face them. Not if we have more experience playing with teams that are lower or the deepest lower in the ranking. It's more uh, probably we go come to near them that we come to near of the strongest one. And for that, we wish and we try all the time to play teams that are better ranking to try to achieve and be stronger as them the next step that we give. And um, at this moment, in this group, uh, Malaysia, as I said before, don't reflect uh, their ranking at the moment, don't reflect the quality of the players, and most important, the quality that the team are having as a team uh, performance. Hi, Coach. Nazrin from Manila. Coach, uh, you said you guys uh, were looking for a win in this uh, uh, qualifying rounds, but Malaysia uh, looked to steal at least a point against uh, you guys tomorrow. Do you think uh, that is a kind of advantage for the team of tomorrow night? No, for sure they are looking for a win. They can tell to you that they are looking for one point, they are looking for a win, for sure. No one, no one, but not even the lowest team of the ranking start a game thinking that they're going to try not to lose or try to draw. They always have the, exp the, the expectations of getting a win, for sure. If not, uh, the motivation will not exist and uh, we are not doing nothing there. All the teams, all the players, knowing the difficult sometimes are more than other times, but the desire and the belief of a win always is there. Even the, the hope are, are, are less than sometimes. And no, it's not advantage. It's much about what you can do, what the way that you can face the game and the, the environment. And uh, are aware of the, the strongest points of Malaysia and knowing the game will, will, will go 19, 19, something unique minutes of the game for sure. Even the result uh, can be in favor of one or another in some part of the, the, uh, the game. The game will be on until the, the last whistle of the, the referee. Uh, and that, I think, for the players, is not better than this. A good game with a, a stadium full of fans. Uh, uh, giving motivation to all of us and uh, respecting the game and doing the best as we can to conquer a victory. Any other questions? No? I think a question for the player. Uh, this one's in the book tomorrow. No? Or two for Africa. Or two for Africa. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bara Kid Rahel Kum Saba. Did the Mitaha in Malaysia. Ala Ardo and Jamahira. Rahel Kum Ala Sadara Kimajma. فأكيد راح تكون صعبة بس إحنا مساعدين للمباراة وإن شاء الله نطلع بالنقاط كلها. Of course it's going to be a strong game, tough game with the Malaysia team. Uh, we expect a strong game in front of a big crowd tomorrow on the stadium. But we uh, prepare for this situation. We, we prepare very well for, for the game and everyone is ready to, to get three points at the top of the group. Any questions for the Don't make any questions. We don't bring players the next time. Yeah. It's a lack of respect. Hi, Kumar. Uh, you scored the first goal, uh, the second goal for the team during the last match. Will it boost your motivation to score more goals in this qualifying? Uh, okay. Uh, for sure, uh, scoring goal always give you motivation and they give you big confidence. Uh, and always, every player, every player uh, wants to score in every single game. So we all want to do give our best in the next game to, to uh, help our team. Yes, um, hi. I know that you guys are very well focused on your own team, but I have to ask, as a player um, in the Malaysia team, who do you think is dangerous and will come in the way of our game? Thank you. Uh, 
عندهم لاعبين مميزين صراحه احنا ما ركزت انا على لاعب فالجهاز الفني هو اللي دائما يركز ويعطي لنا التعليمات بس يملكون كذا لاعب مميز بالفريق course we saw Malaysia in the first game and they have uh, a good players a good group uh, in their team but uh, this thing is depending about the analysts video that we will uh, we will say to to watch uh, more uh, the, the Malaysia team ماليزي جمهور عظيم دائما يخلي المباراه تكون اجمل واحلى ونتمنى ان المباراه تكون فول فول ستيل وي سو ذم ات ذا فيرست جيم ذي واز جريت فانز ذي جيف ا نايس اتموسفير ان ذا ستاديوم اند وي اكسبكت اند وي وونت تو سي فول فول ستاديوم ات ذا نيكست جيم ات ويل بي ا فيري نايس اتموسفير فور ذا جيم اي كوم نازين مجين فروم لاما جست وونت اس يو How do you feel the progress of the, of your team and the coach so far? The progress of the team. George is the leader of the team. I think we have a good team. We are working on the steps we are taking. But we are working on the steps we are taking. But we are working on the steps we are taking. But we are working on the steps Of course, at the last time uh, with the coach, we are uh, growing up a lot and we are keep moving forward. And still, uh, we have a lot of uh, targets to to, uh, to achieve. And right now, we are focusing on uh, on this competition and trying to to keep uh, moving forward. Okay. So more questions. Thank you very much, Tibarin. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.